Okay, guys, I'm here, I'm here with another wrestling video. I was hoping it was going to be a Snapchat video because uh, I've watched Thing, I'm pretty sure most of you have had as well. Uh, and the update announced was Cave and Glyphs update. I can't wait until the Snapchat come out for this thing so I can look at it. Um, anyway, uh, we'll uh, do the Snapchat video when the Snapchat gets released. But for now, I'm going to be showing you something that I made surprisingly quickly. Um, this uh, 4x4 piston door. As you can see, it closes very quickly. Well, and opens very quickly. Pretty quick, if you ask me. And pretty e easy and simple as well. Not as simple as the last video, which was this thing over here. As you can see, incredibly simple. It's two double piston extenders, basically. And this one is a little bit more, it's a little bit bigger, but you obviously didn't expect that. But it's seriously not that hard. And something that actually made my day whilst building this was this thing. So I'm pretty sure that most of you out there who do redstone a lot will know this design. Like that. This is double piston extender. And I think, can you do it on two sticks? I'm not sure. Nah, three sticks. Yeah. Th this is the simplest double piston extender there is. And then when I realise, I obviously I can't put these on top of each other. I, w I hope this works sideways. Then when I did it sideways, so yeah, I'll just build this for you. That there, that there, and then that like that. Observe them. Redstone, redstone. There we go. Oops. Um. Okay, so if you go here, as you can see, it works sideways. That made my day doing that. So yeah, this is the main thing that helps me build this. So let's get started into building this. Hopefully it won't take us that long. Um, but yeah, I think we should start to get into it. Okay, so if we just go to my restaurant and testing mode, it's honestly filling up so quickly. So let's go over here, shall we? So just build up a little bit so you've got room to go underneath. Uh, here we go. So here we are, we're up here. Now you're going to set out your double piston extenders, which is just doing that. Okay, so then we've got your blocks there. Then this gets really, really simple, as you can see. Oh uh, yeah, so we've just got, so yeah, the, the thing you might want to do is break that piston and replace it, and then place the observer and then place it back. So then, you know, you do the double piston extender that I just showed you, like this. So now if we do this, you'll see it extend twice, like you should do. So we're just going to give this a little flick, so you can actually see. So this is actually the ball bit itself. Let's break that. Like this. This is the main, like, this is the door basically. And then this bottom bit here is taking away one out of four of them blocks. Um, even though I just destroyed the observer, so it doesn't work. There we go. So, yeah. There we go, it opens, and it closes, that one by one gap. And then this bit here, to do this bit, uh, just because, just to keep it as compact as it can be, I'm going to do that, and then that. Let's do redstone, one, two, three. There we go, give this a flick. And you flick it again. Okay, you tested that those two work. So what should happen now is them two blocks get retracted over there. Um, and then you're going to want to repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do this on camera with you, like this, so you can see it again. Then you go this way and then repeat going that way. Like that. Go, go around here. Redstone, redstone. Observer. Pistons like that. Okay, never mind, I did it the wrong way. And then you don't really do the block because the block's already there. Dead that's there. Let's see if you place the blocks there anyway. So look two blocks like that. And observer, like that. And then block, block, redstone, redstone. Oops, wrong way. One, two, three. Actually, uh, just for the sake of keeping the thing going, we're going to use wool instead of iron blocks. There we go. Activate it again. That's the only thing that like, activates it when, you're not, when you don't want it to. That reminds me of how, how did we used to play when them things activated when you place them down. I don't know how we played like that. Okay, <laughs> um, so uh, first start, I put this repeated the wrong way. <laughs> okay, give it a test, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Then this one, should we give this one a test? Wrong side. 
There we go. So yeah, as you know, you just flick them on these sides. So you just place four levers down. Flick them all once. Like that. You should get these four blocks here. But obviously you don't have to want you know we don't want to flick four levers just to open four parts of a door. So we're gonna connect this up um later on in the video because now I've got to uh, pick up these two bits here. Which is gonna be quite simple actually. So I'm gonna change the wall flow because uh, just because it makes it a little bit neater. So we do that and then now we just go across here, don't worry, these are just temporary box, so these will not be here in a minute. Okay, that there. Then put these up here. Then cheapest ones there. Pop there. So as you can see this is now attached to them. And now we just need to go underneath it like that. Put this out there. And then we get this out, place that there. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, see, so I've got this right. Would have been embarrassing if I didn't. Oh, yeah, whilst I am just just copy what I do at the moment, I'm just going to place in four pistons. But yeah, uh, I'm going to be streaming later of my server. I'm not actually mentioning much of that, but obviously I can do now because you see my video that I posted earlier. Um, yeah, if you haven't, yeah, Minecraft episode six. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just forget about that for now and. Yes, my server is called Minecraft Mini Games. Even though I'm not playing Minecraft at the moment, I'll still be on Minecraft Mini Games because I'm still the owner of Minecraft and I'm really active. You get what I mean? Just left someone else in charge. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Minecraft Mini Games. I still own Minecraft, but I'm just not playing it. So yeah, like I said, Minecraft Mini Games is a server that I own, and I'm probably going to be streaming sometime. I'm not sure when. Of me, because I need your help. To build the bedwars map because I need to build bedwars on there and I need a map so if you if any of you guys want to actually help me with the map on there and you would get like I don't know some sort of rank staff rank whatever I call it and yeah you'd get that so yeah just join the stream whenever it's gonna be just that's how you really subscribe so you know when it happens okay let's do this one shall we Okay, so then this has to go up here, like that I think, like this, and then, and then I think like that. Then because we're on bedrock, um, we can't let's place restaurants on systems that are breaking. So, yeah, so Java players are going to be mad at that one. All restaurant players anyway. There we go. Okay, technically it's all done. All we need to do is wire up the back. Like this, so all we have to do for this really is just get. We're probably gonna need glass most likely. So then, um, yeah, so we're just gonna go over to here, then like that. You, wanna, you might want to break these levers, you don't really need them anymore. Break these four, nobody needs them anymore. Okay, so then we can just keep going down like this. Then eventually, want to reach this blocker. See, so yeah. This one's going to be a piece of glass, and then um, this is why you should build the original design. Yeah, see so this one. Okay, there we go, like that. And then you're just going to run the same thing on the other side. So if you just look carefully, like this, it just goes like that, and then we wire it up like that. That goes up there. This goes up here. That goes there. And it connects up to this bit, and then we move it one block out to this, and then we can extend this torch tower like this up to here. So now you've done this, hopefully you have got it working, which I didn't. So it turns out that I actually forgot to wire this bit up. So, uh, well, it's kind of a human thing. We all make mistakes. Um, Okay, um, really mess this one up. There we go. Um, so yeah, turns out you just have to replace this top one. Like that. What happened? <laughs> I've messed up this redstone contraption. Finally, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, it's up there like that, and then. Um, yes, okay, we finally got it working. 
so as you can see, uh, yeah, if you just need to take a little bit of a close look there, because the mushroom ended that up pretty quickly. This bit here, this is what it should look like. Maybe pause here if it if your door doesn't work. I just pause at this point, just so you can see the redstone, just because I'm going to go all the way through it. Like this, so it should end up looking like that sometime. Yep. All the, make sure all these glass and wool blocks are in the right spots as well, because the glass is important. Uh, because you know it means that um, redstone can go right through it like that. So the thing with transparent box. And then yeah, just make sure it's all like that. And uh, yeah, actually, I was going to say you could build some Java. You just put blocks with these pistons, but I just thought this double piston extender didn't actually work on Java. <laughs> okay, so that should look like that, and then just like that. Okay, let's give it a flick. So as you can see, it is now opened up. If this is all successful for you, then they're well look at you. And if it's not, then uh, I'd go and look at the team that, well, just then. Just go and look at it. Anyway, for now, you just want to fill in the gaps with whatever block you're using for your door. And then, I'm going to leave the wool as it is now. But as you know, you can just replace this wool or whatever block you use to place the redstone on. Right, so yeah, you're just going to want to put this down here. And then you're probably thinking, oh look, this needs replacing it. Now, the thing is with this, you can still see the redstone in the walls. That's kind of annoying, but also it could be a good thing if you kind of wanted to show off to your friends that you built the redstone contraption. So like maybe you could do this whole door glass, but that could be a feature of it. Like you know, replace all this for the glass like this. Yeah, just take a few minutes. Glass, there we go. Uh, yeah, you could make this a feature if you wanted. Okay, warp sex and I forgot a bit. Uh, but yeah, in seeing all the redstone and things, that could be a feature of your base if you wanted to like this. Yeah, mainly just to see, like, th these bits here, people might get a bit impressed, like, well, if you put a fall back up, got the fall door, then like, you know, you see the redstone in the walls like this, and, um, yeah, this will have to be a feature. I I'm pretty sure that you out there, that you are, you know, a lot more building than me, will be able to work something out with this. But anyway, this is my, uh, design for this. Uh, yeah, this is my design. If you want to see where these where the blocks go? So you could do iron blocks if you want. You could do any block you want. Like there is like thousands of blocks in the game, so uh, yeah, you could use diorite if you wanted. I, I want to see what that looks like. You know, diorite. There we go. Last thing I'd expect myself. Actually, what about diorite stairs? Just a random thing. Diorite stairs. Diorite stairs. Diorite stairs. Goblin built in a die right. This trend has gone on for so long. Just me not liking die right, it's been there forever. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? I want to actually see what this looks like, it could be interesting. Uh, I mean, the stairs, not the die right itself. It's not actually that bad. One of the first times I actually say die right didn't look that bad. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and, and being honest, it actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, you could use this if you want. This would be a pretty cool design. Maybe you're not using diorite. But well, you can if you want, that's just my opinion on diorite. What if you replace all these with diorite walls? Okay, warp well, technically broke the piston. Yeah, there we go. Because walls have had that weird update now. Where they look a lot better than they used to. Yeah, you know, I'll do like. You need to make the smallest house in Minecraft with these. Okay, best for these now. Yeah, I just want to see how cool this looks. Um, maybe not the middle section. But yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, still, this is pretty bad to be honest. Walls don't really work. But I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure you lot can figure out a good thing to do with this. Because, like I said, you lot are a lot better with Mildum than me. And I know that is true. I definitely know that is true. So, um, yeah. And also, I'm not sure if he wants to do it yet. Okay, I'm going to check later. To see if what I've got in my head could actually work as a little bit of a collab with somebody. So I'm gonna, you know, do casual message and things. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a collab, and um, this is just what you've heard from me. It might not happen. It's not. I'm not really sure if it's gonna happen or not. Probably not. But if it does end up happening, then yeah, this is great. By the way, if you're wondering the last video, I mean by the last video, I mean the Browncraft one. Uh, when you saw me on the side of that like crouching like this. 
and it looked like I was flying. Nobody's commented that yet, but I'm not flying. This is just something that you can do. You can just crouch on the very end of a block like that and just stand up so it looks like you're flying. You know, if you went from the back, it just looks like I'm flying. It's just a cool thing you can do. You know, that's not flying. Yeah, well, well I'm off flying now, but. Okay, go back first as you can, then you can do this. Then you're gonna put something to buy, let's look. But anyway, and um, yeah, so. You can do what you want with this, these blocks here. Make it look good, make it look terrible. Make it all glass. But it's okay, I just broke the whole machine. Um. Uh, but uh, anyway, I was just also thinking before about okay so the, you know there's a bit of there's a lever here um i bet some of you are there kind of thinking like um well i can't be able to just you know going down here and flipping the lever it's just too much effort for me um well i mean if that is what you're thinking then um then it's your problem not mine It's not my problem that you cannot be bothered to flick a lever. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so all of you that are there, you can't be bothered to flick a lever. Too bad, you're flicking a lever. Um, yeah, uh, so, I'll see you in the next video. And by the way, I'm kind of wondering, so, can we make a TikTok frame? I'm not sure if you can do it or not, but if you build this door, record it, post it on TikTok, and then do hashtag um uh what is hashtag doesn't exist yet um hashtag um four by four no that's probably already exists for four by four four um what about uh hashtag monty's four by four ball door just like this so monty's four by four ball Maybe if I actually could type, then yes. Um, hashtag Monty's 4x4 vault door. If you just do that, like you know, it's just up there, so you need to do it. And then I might give it a search later so that I can see who has built this because that would be really interesting to know. If you don't have it, then you can do YouTube if you want, but if you can't do that, just let me know if you've done it or not. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna think, like, you know, it would be nice for me to actually know. You know, who does what and things. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, well, okay, so I'm gonna see it, um, in my next video or stream, I'm not sure, you know. I might stream a bit more, to be honest. Streaming is a fun thing to do, you don't have to edit. Anyways, here you can see my half diorite and half iron piston door. So, you lot are gonna be mad, and some of you are gonna be happy that I use diorite in a door. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling on about diorite doors and iron doors, and people who can't be bothered to flick a lever. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you in the next video, which is what I said five minutes ago before we got distracted by people who can't simply flick a lever. Goodbye. <laughs>